Hi everybody, Ben Puzwali from KZU Help Desk here. So in this quick tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a custom form for your end user customer portal. So again, I'm looking at my end user customer portal here. Everything's fully customizable, of course. And what I'm talking about here is submitting a request. So you're going to see here that we have sales, billing, and support question. I want to add in a tech support question, okay? So a totally new form. Um, that my customers can use. So I'm going to come over here and jump into my agent dashboard. Okay, so now that we're in the agent portal, we're going to click the gear here to go into the admin. Again, you have to um, log in with an administrative account to be able to administer the uh, custom forms. Now, before creating a new custom form, you want to make sure that all the custom fields that you're going to want to use in that form are first created, right? So I clicked on custom fields, I select the form, right, and I click add new field. Now let's say for my new tech support form, I'm going to want to add a check, or rather a drop box, okay? So uh, we will call this um, type of computer, All right? So I'm going to let this match, so I'm going to have the type of computer, same end user field name, right? So if I wanted to call this type of machine, right, I can make it different for the end using the agents, but let's just leave it the same. And I'm going to add the drop down settings. So I'm going to do PC, I'm going to do Mac, and then I'm going to do server. Display to the customer and then click save. So now type of computer is a new custom field. I just saved it. I'm going to click back into personalize and I'm going to now go into manage custom forms. Now that I'm into the custom form, I'm going to click Add New Form. So first we're going to select an icon. So tech support, since our tech support is the bomb, I'm going to select the bomb. I'm going to call this tech support. Anything, we're going to get rid of description, anything relating to tech support. And then form heading to help. We are here to help you simply post us a ticket. Again, this is just the heading text, right? You can change all this stuff. This is subtext. Um, so from here, number one thing I'm going to want to do is I want to add that custom field that we just created, right? So the type of computer, we're going to select it from the drop down and click add field. Now, what we're going to see here is that these are the visible fields that are going to be displayed in my form, right? And these are the hidden fields. Now, certain fields that um, are required, we can just hide them, right? We can default them. So for example, let's say that we don't really want to worry about the type field. We can just hide it. And if we don't, and again, these can be changed by the way, but let's just uh, put it as an, uh, let's put it at a complaint and then we can set it. So the subject and description cannot be hidden because those are required. Um, and let's just say the product we're not too worried about because we've already created type of computer, right? So we're going to hide that, and I'm going to default to whatever. And then from there, we can rearrange this, right? So I want to add the subject description. I want the type of computer as my first question, let's say, right? So we drag and drop it. When complete, click Save. OK, and what we'll see here is now we're going to be brought back to the custom form screen. OK, so the new tech support's added. We're going to come to the end user customer portal here, right? And then we're going to go back into submit a request. When we click submit a request, we're going to see the new tech support. Right? So if I click into it, it then has the set of questions that I set up. So again, the type of computer, PC, Mac, or server, the email address, the priority subject, and then the description. Any other questions? Let us know. Support at kzoo.com. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks.